Hi guys, welcome back. Now we are going to discuss about embedded sub process. What is sub process basically? So from the naming itself, you can understand, right? So sub process is nothing but process inside another process that is called sub process. Okay. So how we can use that? Let's see one small example. Okay. I'm going to tell you that actually I'm going to show you in this video how we can use that and how it is working. Okay. So basically I'm just taking as a real time example. Okay. Basically I'm feeling very hunger. Okay. Feeling hunger. I want to eat something. So what basically I can do? I just planning for dinner. Okay. It's like a dinner time. So I want to eat some dinner. What basically I can do? I can go to my kitchen and I can choose my receipt and I can prepare some noodles. Right. There is one option. Okay, so before while doing while choosing the receipt while preparing itself, I got invited for for outing. My friend is calling. Hey, come on, let's go for dinner outside. Okay, that's fine. I can go out and I can eat my meal, right? So this is one step. Again, if I prepare the noodles, yes, obviously. Again, after that I will eat and I will that that is also one way, right? So there is two option. One I am feeling one I am feeling hunger. I can choose receipt. I, I can prepare the noodles and I can eat it out. And in between, if something happens, right? So I can, my friend is calling in between while preparing. I can go out and I can eat. So anyway, at last step, I have to eat it out. Right? So the, the dinner, that is what the main motive, right? main, main motive of that, right? So let's see that how it, it may happen, how we can configure that in real, real time. Okay. Let me go and create one BPM diagram okay so this is what okay fine so where is my sub process this is the place you can create a sub process okay so let me create a sub process let me just drag and drop it okay don't worry so what i can do from here to i'm just linking here okay so i'm just saying i'm hunger okay so what basically i need to do once i hunger I need to go and I need to eat right so okay so it has to come inside that okay I'm going to choose a receipt here choosing recipe okay so this may be like just keeping as a service task okay so then what I can do preparing noodles okay so this may be just assume that like user task okay correct I need to prepare the user then I can end up with the sub, the sub process and what I can do basically I can eat maybe again I am putting eat also one task service task okay so eating eat meal maybe okay this also like a service task let me keep it so from here to I need to link this guy right okay so then I am end up with the flow what I can say uh completed happy happy okay so that's all maybe this is some in this is called sub process right in between doing this stuff actually maybe my friend is inviting me for dinner what will happen obviously i will go right <laughs> so so let's let's create one stuff called what is that? Uh, let's give it as a message event. Okay. So there is there may be not boundary event. Maybe not. Uh, let's let's create it easily from here. Okay. So this is giving a stranger once again. Uh, what basically I can do? Yeah, I can go here. I can create a event. Yeah. Okay. So message boundary event okay yeah so this is just a message event okay so the, my friend is called in between this process what basically i have to do okay he, he maybe he is calling for he, if he called okay going out for dinner i can go out for dinner right maybe i can keep it as a user task okay then again if i go out obviously i will eat my meal right so if i go out and eat right so th then obviously I am happy. 
right so actually this is the process but in between that you are splitting that in between these two tasks if my friend is called again obviously i'll go out right so this is called a sub process actually so how it will work actually so in between this if if that guy called how i will go let's check so let me give that statement actually so if it is a, as it is a message event right so you can give the message so what i can give just dinner invited dinner invite okay if he, that guy call for dinner i will go okay uh, friend invited me for dinner okay that's fine uh, anything else yeah i can save this one right so let me give it as a sub process okay sub process test maybe okay so let me save the same name okay let me save it out shall we try it out okay before trying we have two service task shall we give two class names okay so let me go and create quickly okay so let me go first uh, new java class choose recipe task okay so let me add the java delegate finish then again another service class what is that uh, eat din eating the meal right yeah eating meal task java delegate okay i quickly done this okay so he, inside that i'm not going to do any big stuff actually so okay mm, system dot out dot println as usual choosing recipe for noodles i'm just giving like this okay here it has to print like this let me go here eating meal task right happily eating happily eating my dinner my meals okay that's all guys let me copy this copy qualified name i'm going into here so eat meal selecting and putting the java class implementation you can even try with the expression also that is very simple okay so to print it this so that you can uh, understand that okay this is the flow was happened that is what the reason i'm always going with the java class okay so don't worry about it if you want i can give you one more demo for with the other stuff as well okay okay so this is the choosing receipt and again java class i'm just giving okay so this is fine okay so this is a message event so how i can pass the message okay let's see that okay don't worry about it okay so as of now i'm fine with this okay let's go and run this don't waste my time as well as your time obviously so let's see that is my if it came here yeah sub so process start okay test right okay let me go to browser let me log in right we know we know my credentials okay so you can see that now i can create a process called what is that it is not came or what sub process test okay so i am just starting the process you can see that sub process started so diagram you can see that it, it is came to preparing food okay while i'm preparing the noodles right while i'm preparing noodles okay maybe i'm just done the my preparation i can say yes okay i done it i'm complete it okay then the task will get end up okay so the uh, it will go for a meal obviously it, it see happily eating my meals it is went to meals task so first choosing the receipt also service task that also happened happily eating so the process is end up maybe i'm i while i'm preparing so obviously my friends will disturb me right so let's see that if somebody is disturbed what will happen how they will basically they will disturb they will send a invite to me right so they will send some message what is the message basically they have to send uh, dinner invite right so dinner invite they have to send so hope you know that i already shown you in the message event how we need to trigger a, a message and all 
so let me go to my postman okay so if you don't know how to trigger uh, this rest api and those stuff please watch my last uh, what is that message event message start event videos okay there you can find how from the documentation how we need to pick that and how we have to hit that actually so all the stuff i explained there okay so yeah now let's go and create one uh, duplicate okay so obviously i can use that as well okay let me delete this don't want this okay so this is my message event oh okay so condition okay the naming i think i am using wrongly that's fine okay so so this is the message event url okay so from that my body i'm just going to give the message name as dinner invite that's all okay so you can see here this guy is waiting here right this guy is waiting here if i invited immediately okay choose the receive and i if i invited okay what basically will happen let's see that it has to go and create this user task again okay let's let's invite this okay so let me send it out okay do not for no content okay so see now what basically will happen it has to create a new task let me refresh this see sub process test going out for dinner okay it it was created the new task right so let me go to form let me claim this okay so i can even complete this task as well okay so once i done that you can see here happily eating meals so it was went to the process whatever we are expecting right so hope you understood right so basically what happened and let me go and open that so that it will be very clear okay so first i i directly uh, choosing the receive and i preparing the noodles and i eat it okay so if while preparing the noodles suddenly the message event was came from my friend right so the, when i trigger this message event it was come it was picked from here and it was flow like this actually so this one was skipped okay automatic release came to here and it was created new task that old task was deleted and it was went to eating meal maybe i will show one more time okay so to make it more clear so let me go to event sub process okay so sub process test so you can see nicely here so okay so i am preparing noodles while preparing okay so my friend invited me okay so obviously you can see the preparing noodles was deleted automatically and right so this was got deleted okay so here was task was there it was got deleted and it went to here right so it so if i refresh going out for dinner message came okay i can claim this and i can complete this okay hope you understood there so what is that difference how we can make the use of sub process as well okay thanks for watching bye bye